Hi, I'm Dempsey Pilat, and this week I'm reviewing... Now before we start off, as always, I just want to take a quick second to remind you guys to make sure you hit that like button if you like today's video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more movie-related content weekly. But without further ado, let's jump into today's film. Onward was directed by Dan Scanlon and stars Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, and Octavia Spencer. Taking place in a world where mythical creatures coexist, the film follows two brother elves as they go on a quest to try and fulfill a spell that'll bring back their late father for one more day. And if you're wondering what I thought about this film, well, here's a hint. It's Disney and Pixar, so obviously, it was great. I mean, there was a lot to love about this film. Firstly, I really enjoyed the animation. Pixar's always introducing us to really abstract characters like toys or cars, but here, it meshes non-human characters and human-like characters in a way that feels really refreshing. The film as a whole is visually stunning, especially the sequences including and involving magic. Uh, I felt like those were done exceptionally well. I mean, the entire film is just extremely detailed and very sharp, and I can't believe that Pixar just continues to outdo itself and improve year after year, film after film. I also really love the film's plot. Aside from being a road trip film, it's technically Weekend at Bernie's for kids. I especially enjoyed watching the shenanigans that the two brothers got in because their father wasn't physically all there. All that stuff is really great. And there's also a neat side plot involving the mom. She kind of has her own quest throughout the film where she's trying to actually figure out where the boys are going and figuring out what the hell they're trying to do in the first place. And in addition to moving the story along, it makes the film less about the relationship that the brothers never got to have with their dad that they're trying to rekindle and more about the family dynamic as a whole, which I thought was really nice. And on top of that, this film's overarching message will definitely mess you up. And that's coming from someone who may or may not have bawled their eyes out at the end of Coco. But you can't prove that, okay? Now, even for a Pixar film, I was not expecting for it to tug at my heartstrings as hard as it did. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but I will say this. Anyone who's ever experienced any type of love or loss should totally have a box of Kleenex nearby when they watch this film. Now, as much as I did like this film, if I'm being honest, there were a couple of things I thought that didn't really work. Uh, first and foremost, there are definitely some characters in it that really serve no other purpose than to move the story along or to provide some key piece of information that the audience needs to know that comes into play later on. Uh, one of the characters in question happens to be Disney's very first, if I'm not mistaken, LGBT character, openly LGBT character, which is awesome. I'm all for that, right? But... It's so in your face, and I felt like Disney was like, oh my god, look at us, look at what we're doing, we're so progressive about it, that it just, it uh, kind of defeated the whole purpose. Right? They, I felt like they made it such a point to do it, that it just didn't really feel genuine. Like, that's cool, but what about that Love, Simon show on Disney Plus? You guys gonna still do that, or what? The interaction with that character feels so forced, and like I said, ingenuine, that it, it just, it, it took me a little bit out of the film. I will say that. I guess what I'm trying to say is that a lot of the interactions between our main characters and the more minor characters are just really awkward. And I guess you can try and make an argument that maybe that was done on purpose because the person who has a majority of these conversations is Tom Holland's character and he's definitely portrayed to be more of an introvert. But I'm not buying it. I think it has a lot more to do with the writing than anything. Okay, so my only other issue with this film borders on spoiler territory, so if you haven't seen the movie and you don't want it ruined for yourself, um, maybe pause this video, go see it, come back, or I'll put a timestamp right here somewhere where you can check it out um, later, and you can just skip ahead to that point where I finally give my, my, my rating for this film. I'll give you a quick second to do that. Okay, so the only other issue that I have with this film, which really wasn't an issue, but something that I wanted to see explored just a little bit more of, was the reintroduction of magic into this world that had seemingly forgotten about it. And I love the way that the two brothers had a hand at bringing it back because of their quest, but I would have liked to see the implications of their actions beyond their small town. Like, we saw that their stepdad was running again as a centaur, we saw that the pixies that they fought had remembered how to fly, but what happened beyond that? And it might be something cool to explore if they do a sequel, but it's something that I really wanted to see in this film. Overall, though, I think Onward is easily one of Pixar's strongest offerings to date. It's actually kind of funny because you always hear films being described as magical, but here you have a film that is literally magical. And I personally believe that 
especially for those people who watch it and can relate to it, it has the potential to change a life. And for that, I'm gonna give this film four and a half stars. Ta-da! Oh, that's great! Guys, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. It really does mean the world to me. And once again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more movie-related content weekly. Now, if you happen to see this movie, if you loved it, if you hated it, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading and responding to all of you. And uh, yeah, I'm really interested to see what some of you guys thought. I read that some people thought this was one of Pixar's best. Other people thought it was just okay. So once again, let me know what you thought about it. Now, that's pretty much all the time that I have for you guys today. I do have a lot of stuff in the works currently, so be on the lookout for it. So um, in the meantime, I should probably get back to work, right? Until next time, I'm Dempsey Pullot. Take care.